Afternoon everybody, welcome back to the Potting Shed. My name's Mike and Bank Holiday Monday. I thought it might be quite nice to do a bit of repotting. So I've got this big Echinopsis cacti. Okay, it'll be coming into flowers soon, but I can still repot it. They like to be repotted in the spring. Um, so what I've done is I've made a mix, very, very gritty sandy compost. So let's bring this up to the camera so you can see. A lot of grit in there, a lot of sand mixed in. Okay, and all I'm going to do, this is the pot it's going into, this large terracotta pot. Big hole in the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is get some crocs, which are bits of terracotta, terracotta pots that have broken, and they're just going to cover the hole in the bottom of the pot. So I just hold that up and you can see, that will stop the compost dropping out when I put the cacti in there and when I water as well. So let's show you how to do it. Let's angle the camera down. There we go. So the crops are in the bottom. You can add a little bit. Put some bigger stones in there as well. A little bit in the bottom and then holding it by the roots carefully, put it in, test it. Get it central. I think a little bit more compost in there. Just to lift it up a touch. Test it again. Alright, okay. Have a bit of an angle, so what I'm going to do is use one of these rather large gloves. So, as much as I love cacti, they are the prickliest contenders. So, I've straightened them up. Okay, it's a bit better. Make sure he's nice and straight, central in the pot, and then take the glove off again and then go around the edge, just fill it in with your nice gritty mix. Now this particular cacti, I've got a couple of these, they put on flowers that are about seven or eight inches long. So later in the season when they start to flower, I'll take some photographs for you to have a look at. Really impressive, I don't think cacti get as much recognition as they deserve. It's a very, very hardy, and live without water for months and months, take freezing cold temperatures and reward you with beautiful flowers. So that is repotting an Echinopsis and uh, I hope you liked it. If you've got any questions about cacti and succulents give me a shout. What I'm going to do now is leave this to settle for a week and then give it a good water. Rain water is really good because there's not as many chemicals like fluoride and calcium as in tap water. Um, you can feed these, but you tend to give them a week of feed every couple of weeks and they'll reward you with loads of flowers, lots of new growth, and they'll put these on uh, around the edge. I can show you these little growths, these offsets, they're called pups. And if you break those off uh, and leave them to callus for a couple of weeks and pot them into some gritty compost, they'll root and you will have a new Echinopsis plant. And there's a few there, so I'll do plant propagation in a later video. All right, if you like this video, drop me a like. Uh, if you like the channel, have a look at some of the other things I've been doing. I've only been going a couple of days, but uh, subscribe if you like it. Leave me some comments. Tell me what I can improve on, and uh, hopefully you like it. All right, thanks very much, and goodbye from the potting shed.